Wednesdays, Thursdays, September 14th. This is WDN, your source for school news. My name is Aya Chow. And my name is Ryan Radman. Today is National Coloring Day. Today's lunch menu is vegetarian chili with tortilla chips, mini twin cheeseburgers, chicken tender salad with savory wheat crackers, Italian sub combo, blueberry muffin platter, great PB&J sandwich, and fries. Tomorrow's lunch is chicken fajita, Spanish rice, fiesta pizza, corn dog, blueberry muffin platter, great PB&J sandwich, and seasoned red beans. September is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Suicide is a major public health concern. This month we will raise awareness by sharing resources that help others recognize the warning signs of suicide and how to get help. Safeguard the people in your life from the risk of suicide and support them by being there for them, helping them connect with resources such as the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can call or text 988 or chat at 988lifeline.org and by following up with them. Be the, be the one who makes a difference. Tonight, the PTSA will be holding a spirit night at JoJo's Raw Bar and Grill for tonight's football home game. Mention Wellington High School PTSA when you order. The PTSA will get 10% of proceeds, which will help give back to our students and teachers while you support a local business. Juniors, join the Homecoming Google Classroom for 11th grade. We'll post all the information for our class there. Here's to another winning season. The Google Classroom code is M2WDFRZ. The junior class of 2025 is pre-ordering t-shirts. Please fill out the form on the 11th grade Google Classroom so we know how many shirts to get in each size. T-shirts will be $10 each. For any girl interested in joining the girls' weightlifting team, there will be a meeting today, September 14th, from 3 to 310 in room 2145. If you cannot make the meeting about the girls' weightlifting team, please see Coach Colovi in room 2145. No experience is needed. Weightlifting is for everyone. Lifters of all sizes are welcome. If you are interested in trying out for the girls' soccer team, stop by room 2158 to get more information. See Coach Parrott for any questions. The first GSA meeting has been rescheduled to Tuesday, September 26th. If you are interested in coming to the GSA meeting, please see Mrs. Curry in the media center for a permission slip and more information. Mrs. Curry will, must have your permission slip prior to the first meeting on the 26th. Are you interested in helping to better the future? Eyes for Change will have their first meeting before school at 7 a.m. Wednesday the 27th in room 2137. For more information, please see Mr. Lenahan. The Students Working Against Tobacco, SWAT Club, at our high school is a passionate group of students dedicated to raising awareness about the harmful effects of tobacco use in our community. Through educational campaigns, peer support, and advocacy efforts, we aim to empower our fellow students to make informed decisions and promote a tobacco-free environment. They will have their first meeting before school at 7 a.m. on Tuesday the 19th in room 2137. For more information, please see Mr. Lenahan. The ASL Honor Society presents the Deaf Fact of the Day in the support of Deaf Awareness Month. ASL is the fourth most used language. Boys Golf plays Jupiter Christian at 3.30 p.m. And varsity football plays Royal Palm Beach at home at 6.30 p.m. Make sure to come and support. Hey, Wolverines! It's Coach Pryor. Tonight, 6.30, we play Royal Palm. Remember, you seniors for last week's pep rally, you guys get in free. Hey, but bring your ID, otherwise you won't be able to get in. Also, if you have any younger siblings that are under 12, they get in free too, but they gotta have a parent there. Hope to see you guys at the game. My name is Garrett Mitchell and welcome to the Mitchell Moment. This week we're stepping a little outside of our school into Jupiter Farms, where content creation is being combined with wildlife. 22 year old Paul Cafero has been making videos about his backyard farm in the Jupiter area, which includes an abundance of fish and other animals. He shares the growth of his farm and its animals online. Cafaro says that by sharing his experience with his viewers, they get to know the names and animals and watch as they develop creating a connection which is one of his favorite parts of what he does. Using his platform to provide a window to South Florida for outsiders, Kafaro is a heartwarming example of someone taking something they're passionate about and making the most of it. That's all for this week's Mitchell Moment. Have a wonderful rest of your day. That's all the announcements we have for today. Remember, you can catch this broadcast at any time by visiting our YouTube channel for WDEN. I'm Ryan Radman. And I'm Zaya Chow. Have a thankful Thursday. Thursday. Remember to follow the Wellington Way.